we do another little video here with the cows since there's been a few little things to update you on. Right? Right. There's always new things. Yep. So uh, this is the calf shelter. We slapped some plexiglass on here the last uh, snowfall warning day. That was what, last week here now already? Yeah. And Ivan threw a light in there just to encourage the little calves to go in. Looks pretty nice and cozy in there. There are a couple in there this morning. Only two left right now. There was four a while ago. All the lick marks on the plexiglass, you can't see through it. <laughs> so yeah. I'm run into it. I guess so, hey? And then we put up the uh, calf panels around the front just to keep the cows from going up and scratching the snot out of this calf shelter. They have a bunch of the tin already pretty fucked up on it. Typical cows wreck yep. everything. So itchy. Also, our cow calf. So one of mine and Ivan's cows. And this is uh, Crank. That's the one we brought into the vet here last week. She had woody tongue, which is uh, when they somehow managed to create an abrasion on their tongue, a cut from either their teeth or a stick or whatnot from, from their feed. And then bacteria from dirt gets inside. So we had to bring her into the vet and get that looked at. We gave her some iodine and it seemed to straighten her out. The silly old thing though has been sleeping in the barn every night now for the last week. Which was good because she happened to pop last night. Stood right here almost all day yesterday yeah, waiting, just waiting for you and Amanda to open the door. Amanda and I were out here helping Ivan with feed and uh, yeah, the cow seen us and thought, oh, you know what? They're probably here to let me in the barn. It's pretty cute. Hi, ladies. We're thinking this is the next one to pop. She's got the biggest belly I've seen in my whole entire life. It's the one we thought maybe there's a couple in there or one upside down. We don't know. Here's the new one. Hey, little bully. Our second bull calf of the group. Yeah, there's so many heifers. The bulls have some catching up to do. Hi, Crank. How's your yap? Tongue's still a little bit sore, but it works again. Yeah, looks like it's not too bad. Hey. And Crank, not because she's cranky or mean, she's a sweet old thing. Just happens to be the name on her tag. So we call her Crank. From the bloodline. Yeah. Cows, all, that, cows that we bought from... Uh, oh right, Kyle's. This Kyle's summer, there. Hey? Yeah. Some what purebreds that they pulled out of their herd a couple years ago. Yep, and he's already been up and sucked and she's already cleaned, so... Look at his cute little eyes. Nice little Charlie. Yeah. What's that say when the Red Angus breeders breed their cows to Charlie's after? Yeah. That's <laughs> pretty good, I think. Obviously. Dad Papa would, Henry like, would that. like that yep. idea, but. Yeah. He raised purebred Charlie's forever. It's the big part of my memory is going into the, into the sail ring there and watching all the work they put in, clipping and cleaning and fluffing and halter breaking and leading them through the ring. It's pretty neat with the purebred business compared to commercial. A lot of extra work. Some of them get well paid for it. Yep. Yeah, not quite dry yet, but I guess it's not that long ago that he was born. You should come here, you're cute. Two o'clock, I think, eh, when Amanda called me. Yeah, what is it, 6, 6.30 right now? I six, don't know, I didn't six even look. Six right now, I think. No, good mama. She, good girl. Ugh. How about you, 155? Are you up to no good yet? Here's hoping. Maybe we can document some, uh, some triplets being born here later. It's high time, you know. Yeah, my lord. Just fucking tell me about it. What a belly. I mean, she hasn't eaten all night. Can we say hi? Look how cute you are. Aww. Aww. Good 
Gonna go see my mom again. Mm, yeah. I don't know who you are. I'm gonna boing around. So yesterday, Ivan, Amanda, and I set up this uh, feeder here. They've been grinding up some of the green oat bales because there's a little bit of foxtail in it. And this way, it blows out the foxtails. And there's way less waste all around these feeders compared to the round feeders that are using just with the Good job, straight bales. pipes. Yeah, good job, straight pipes. That's what goes on here all around these yeah, bale feeders. Yeah, this is the cow. I ate some poop. You did eat some poop. You can see it on your face there. Oh, I a... ate some cow poop. She ate cow poop. Oh, yum. She has like a milk mustache. Oh, she's been eating the powder. Oh, it's the powder. <laughs> what is it? Dimitaceous earth? Is that yeah. what you put in there? Yeah. And there she goes. Papa. First Sophia. Push nothing. Okay. Mama's turned into no bank. Oh, help. <laughs> hey Keegan, get Papa. <laughs> Molly is like, what is going on? People are crazy. <laughs> Oh, she's popping. So that great big belly cow of ours is just starting to calve here. So maybe I can put a little update at the end of this video if she has <laughs> multiples. And today we actually sadly had a casualty. One of the calves got laid on. So Nick and Amanda went and got this replacement calf. I even made a cute little jacket out of the uh, dead calf. For this one just to help the mother take on to him a little bit quicker seems to work it's something we've done quite a few times hey yeah somebody told me about it 100 years ago Does dad's it done it quite a few times too i'm dad sure that's who day. told me probably dad hey grandpa henry so he was probably doing it 150 years ago yeah it's but a pretty uh, good uh, matching jacket you made there yeah. though it's yeah. hard to even pick out where one starts and one stops. Yeah, cute little guy. So Amanda actually managed to get this calf from the same farm she bought these cows from. So same herd. Yeah. He had a set of twins and was selling the calves, both calves. Must have had something bad happen to the mother. Yeah, uh, both, tw set, or both twins are coming out at once or something. So he pushed one back, got the calves out, but then, uh, can't remember what they said. The cow died anyway. Oh, she pinched a nerve in her back. Oh, get up. Something and she couldn't get up anymore. Lots of shit. You're cute. Hey. Yeah. So Amanda has him just locked in the alleyway here. We're not going to leave them together overnight. So Don't she need doesn't her. lay on another yeah, one. Yeah, murdering two calves in one day. Hey, that would be performance. Yeah. Maybe. She's pretty much taken to him though. Like yeah. She, She's a little tiny bit confused, but... Would be kind of confusing. You were dead this morning and now you're back. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? What are you that talking about? I don't want to be dead. You're cute. Hey, number five. Ben. Seepin'. That's the baby from this morning all dried off. Belly full. Seepin'. <laughs> Our cow crank, and then this is our cow too. Right, big belly. 
Go check your back end over there. You can see the water bag hanging out. And these are the two we got from Kyle's Dave just this summer. Yeah, this fall here. This fall. Two of the five. <laughs> Easier said than done. Can you just pull the black or the white tarp off. Still dark. Water bag's out there anyway. You can see it. There we go. So, not sure how many babies are in there. I really, really think there's more than one. Hopefully she doesn't have any trouble. Spits them both out. I'll be surprised if there's just like a 50 pounder in there, but who knows? That's how cows operate. Right? Just fat. I think it's something's putting pressure on her tummy anyway to make that big funny looking belly. Yeah. It appears to be working. Yep, yeah, that's good to see. <clears throat> And just has some toes out. A little ways to go, yeah. A little ways to go. Might as well get our get our square bales all set up here so we can have a sleep. Yep. Hang out here for the night. That make you excited, Crank? Oh. Holy Christ, did I have another one? <laughs> you did just take an enormous shit there. <laughs> That's a fairly big calf, isn't it? I guess not that bad. Yeah, it's just nice, normal, nice calf. <laughs> Leave his belly button alone. Yeah, it's pretty aggressive licking. Getting his keister real good anyway. Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> There's two! No wonder your poor tummy, hey? Those are good sized babies. Big, big, big. Big for twins, holy smokes. <laughs> Chomping on her afterbirth, gross. I think it's one heifer, one bull. I think. That must have been the first one. They're about the same size. We know. We know. You did a good job. And nobody sucked yet, you figure? Well, that's kind of suspicious. I kind of thought one was sucking when she was out here earlier. Maybe then. It's okay. I'll have to give you some more straw. You got it all yeah. mucked up. She probably dropped a lot of water too when she was poking those out. I would imagine. <laughs> you feel better? Look at your tummy looks normal again. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey guys. Oh, and you want to have some uh, some action too, do you? Talking you to me. Am I chopped liver? Good job there, big tummy. Uh.